we are facing a world that is constantly transforming, our industry is transforming, and the winners will be the ones who actually can innovate and find new ways to engage with the customers, you know, create more customer value, and of course also create better you know, efficiency you know, to simplify the inside of the, of the airline as well. So innovation is, I, I think, is an existential thing for, uh, for our industry and any, any player in the industry. Well, that's easier said than done, I must admit. And we try different ways. We try to find, uh, you know, encourage people to do that. But also we, we have created what we call an SAS Labs, where we have asked a, f a very few group of people to say, play around with technology and come up with, you know, ideas. And they might be, you know, wild fetch, but le let's come up with ideas and maybe something will, you know, come, good come out of that. We got to make sure that we can continue to grow this business and that more and more people have the luxury to, uh, and, and freedom to explore the world. But it can't be, uh, the price we pay for that cannot be that we destroy the world. So of course, you know, that, that thing is absolutely important. I think us as carriers, we have a huge responsibility in order to invest in the right technology, in order to find you know, smarter ways to operate to reduce our CO2 footprint, but also politicians and other stakeholders, they need to come into play. We need to find a way to incentivize more biofuels. It's insane that the technology is there, but there's nothing to buy. And it can't be the industry's responsibility to, to innovate and also produce large-scale biofuels. Someone else needs to do that. And another thing, in, in, since I'm European, I'm coming from Europe and having those glasses on, it's pretty pathetic that we haven't solved this single European sky. We've been talking about it for ages, and we all know if that would be implemented, we would reduce the flight distance by 25% and the CO2 footprint by, by the same amount. Those are kind of, you know, stepping stones, uh, really changing the game, but it's not happening. And, you know, we all are very, very frustrated that we are standing still.